Hello everyone, this is Jair and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Umbral node using the command line interface. This is an option for those cases where the upgrade using the UI doesn't work or get stuck. You also have the option to do it through the command line and I noticed that it's much more effective than using the UI. However, it's easier to use the UI. As you know, you can log into your Umbrel node. Okay. Now that we are logged in, we can see right here the option of a new upgrade as of today, December 14th. So normally the next step is click on install now right here and then it will ask us if we did a uh, backup of our 24 words and also if we did a backup of the channels. In this case I'm not going to upgrade using this option because this option when we press install now we just see a screen in the back that say do not refresh this page or do not change this page and we don't know what's happening. Now if you're a little bit more advanced or you want to know what is happening you can try the command line interface and to do that I'm going to open my terminal and I will log into the node which is a laptop Linux laptop in my case it's not a Raspberry Pi but the command the command is very similar so let me connect to my system and um, because this is a laptop I have an external drive attached to this machine which is right here this is where I have all the Bitcoin code installed for a Raspberry Pi will be very similar to something like this I will try to find actually this is not the document I was trying to look for will be this document and this document has the options credits go to dark coin for putting this together manually updating umbrel node for the raspberry pi users you can follow these instructions and the command is uh, basically you will be in the local directory of umbrel but in our case we are using this case this this way for linux users we have to go to where the where we install the the, the code of Umber node basically all right in my case as I showed you before is in this directory and we are going to go inside that directory with the cd command forward slash bitcoin and now we can see that we have all the bit the the umbrella node code is here the command to upgrade manually requires to have git the software git install on your linux or raspberry pi so you need to one way to to find out if it's installed is doing sudo dpkg l and then you press the bar which is called the pipe and then you grab for git of course you need your um, password of um, administrator password and you can see in this case I have git version 2.25.1 installed okay so once that is installed then you can proceed with the installation of the manual uh, way 
again let me show you here the command basically if you are in the directory of scripts you can run the command from there directly like this or you can cd into this directory scripts update and then run the command update dash dash repo space get umbrel forward slash umbrel char or pound sign v in lowercase and then the version of umbrel in this case the version we want to upgrade is version 4.0.10 and then if we go here and i will do manually demonstrate that and uh, i will cd to the scripts directory and then we can see that here we have the update directory so i will go there and if we do ls we have different scripts here and we are running, going to run this script we do we type sudo space dot forward slash update dash dash repo let me verify here repo get umbra okay so we go back here so we do I will clear the screen just to make it more clean repo space get umbrel forward slash umbrel and then we do the pound sign v lowercase 0 0.4.10 in this case let's verify one more time get umbrel forward slash umbrel pound sign and then the version and then if we go back to our terminal so this is okay and then we present it and this way we can see the process of what is the upgrade what happens behind that screen that we we see on the upgrade when we're doing it through the UI so let's press enter here and then you can see that the upgrade start it goes very quickly but uh, it, show, it shows us here that it's pulling from the git hub and from the docker hub images it pulls the containers so it's downloading new containers but new versions of the containers and then it keeps it's still pulling other versions here updating the it, it updates the core versions then the applications stop the current ones remove the current ones stop docker services and then it kills some of the applications and then you start umbra again with the new versions of the docker so here is removing ip tables details again this is very technical and as you can see it did run a couple of uh, scripts like script number two and script number three and the update here will tell you if the day was a success this address here will be blurred because this address is your onion address and has to be private and then here it removed the backup that did and successfully tells you that it was completed all right so if we go back to umbra we got we, we we were logged out automatically during the upgrade process the update process so i will log in again just to verify that we have the new version and as you can see we don't have any more the version here uh prompting that we need to upgrade and if we click on bitcoin we can see that version 22 is bitcoin core lining is version okay it's still it's still refreshing so it will take a few seconds if this happened it's normal after the upgrade it takes a few seconds until everything start connecting again but we can confirm the version that we're running here in settings and probably you cannot see the version there and now you can see it here version 0.4.10 and it tells us the build the build number 
okay so again let's go back to lining and then here uh, now the the connections are starting to to appear again i don't have any channels in this current node it's a new node just for testing and here is the version the latest version that we're using for uh, lnd and that's it that's how you upgrade your node using the command line interface i hope you have a good christmas and until the next video thank you